Ayun. Members of Parliament, Vice President of the Collectivité of Saint Martin, Acting Vice Chair Lady of the Council of Advice, Chairman of the Audit Chamber, Ombudsman, Chairman of the Integrity Chamber, Clifier of Parliament, Chair Lady of the Central Voting Bureau, Chairman of the Electoral Council, Chief Public Prosecutor, Commander of the Marines Detachment on St. Martin, Representative of the Netherlands in Philipsburg, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Life is all about a delicate balance, up and down, in and out, left and right, yin and yang. The task you are about to take up as parliamentarians is no different. More about the balance in a moment. First about the task. On Thursday, January 11th of this year, 66% of the eligible voters of St. Martin exercised one of their fundamental constitutional rights, their right to vote. Natives of the people have to cater to the people of this country, all the people of this country, so also those whose views you may not agree with. It is your responsibility to take into account and protect their views and them as well. That is why the general interest must be at the heart and core of all the decisions you individually and collectiv collectively make. And that is on both sides of the aisle. So whether you are in opposition or part of the majority supporting the government you are tasked with forming. That is why I use the word task here purpose, purposely. Because those that have voted for you in doing so have selected you to represent not only them, but to represent all of the people of this country, not just one group in particular, not just one ethnicity in particular, not just one particular lifestyle, not just believers, not just one religion in particular, but every single person. When you seriously think about it, you cannot help but realize what a daunting task that is. And yes, as a parliamentarian, with your individual vote, you have to decide for all of these groups and individual persons I have just mentioned. You have a free mandate, so you do not represent your supporters, nor your voters, nor your party. You represent all the people of this country and only serve the general interest of the people of St. Martin. When you seriously think about it, you cannot help but to realize what a daunting task that is. You and you alone, all 15 of you, are directly elected by the voters of St. Martin. Only you, as members of parliament, have a direct electoral mandate and therefore direct democratic legitimacy. This makes you the anchor and heart of St. Martin's democracy. Did I already mention it was a daunting task? <laughs> In your work as a co-legislator with government and with your task of keeping a check on that same government, you bear a, res a special responsibility. That is a privilege and a burden. 
a privilege because together you are the bearers of the will of the people of St. Martin, but also a burden because it is expected of you, and rightfully so, that you will express the will you bear in a responsible manner and in a manner focused on the general interest of the people and that you will put that will of the people into action four years long. But you did not get here alone. You were elected into this role as parliamentarian via a political party. You form part of a greater whole, a team, a support system. That support system can help guide your decision making and ease the task upon your shoulders. This is where you start to see some of the balance mentioned earlier. Your individual vote, your free mandate via, excuse me, yes, your individual vote, your free mandate as a parliamentarian and the political party via which you were elected into parliament. Your individual and collective responsibility of deciding in matters concerning individuals, groups, big business, small business, employers and employees, laws and liberties and the like. Finding the delicate balance of all of these. So, elected members of parliament, do not take your role lightly because it is not one to take lightly. You have been entrusted with an enormous weight on your shoulders, an enormous responsibility. And we, the people of St. Martin, will be watching your movement and non-movement, motivation and silence, decision and non-decision, your presence and absence, whilst counting on you to, to the best of your ability, carry out and exercise this delicate act of balance with the lives and future of the people of our country. Sounds like quite a daunting task, right? Well, it is. But in addition to the support system I mentioned earlier, you also have guidelines as an aid in your task. Those guidelines stand on the tip of that point you have to balance on and are worded in the very oath you are about to take. Four fundamental guidelines. One, integrity. Two, allegiance. Three, the rule of law. Four, the general interest of the people of St. Martin. I swear declare that I have not given or promised anything to anyone whosoever directly or indirectly under any name or pretext whatsoever in connection with me being elected as a member of parliament, nor shall I do so. I swear promise that I shall not accept any pledge or gift of any description from any person whatsoever directly or indirectly in order to take or refrain from any action of any description in this position. Integrity. I swear promise my loyalty to the king and the charter for the kingdom. Allegiance. That I shall always help to uphold the constitution of St. Martin, the rule of law, and shall promote the well-being of St. Martin to the best of my ability, the general interest of the people of St. Martin. As I now proceed to invite you forward to take the oath, the final step required in order for you to be able to carry out your function as member of parliament. And in closing, if you remember nothing else that has been said this morning, remember the following. Although to politicians it may seem to always be about politics, politicking is not the end goal. The end goal is the prosperity of the people of St. Martin and serving the people of this country. It is said that health does not always come from medicine. Most of the time, it comes from peace of mind, peace in the heart, and peace in the soul. It comes from laughter and love. And to that, I say, stability, 
does not always come from electoral reform. Most of the time, it comes from people in parliament, people in government, people in general. It comes from integrity and love of St. Martin and its people. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Let us begin. Ik zweer, verklaar dat ik middelijk, nog onmiddellijk, onder welke naam of voorwensel ook, in verband met mijn verkiezing tot lid van de Staten, aan iemand wie hij, ook zij, iets heeft gegeven of beloofd, nog zal geven. Ik zweer, beloof, dat ik om iets hoegenaamd in deze betrekking te doen of te laten, van niemand hoegenaamd enige belofte of enige geschenk zal aannemen, middelijk of onmiddellijk. Ik zweer, beloof trouw aan de koning en het statuut van het koninkrijk, dat ik de staatsregering van St. Maarten steeds zal helpen onderhouden en het welzijn van St. Maarten naar mijn vermogen zal voorstaan. Truly help me, God Almighty. That I declare and promise. That I declare and promise. So truly help me God Almighty. So truly help my God Almighty. <coughs> So truly help me God <coughs> Truly help me, God Almighty. That for clear and below I declare and promise. Members of Parliament, congratulations to each and every one of you. 
Congratulations to your friends and families. Congratulations to the people of St. Martin. And to all of you, much success, wisdom, and discernment in your task ahead. Cheers. Cheers.